What's up guys and welcome. Today I want to bring you the most obtainable, most free to play friendly way to beat stage 19 and above uh, using the most optimal strat to do so. And yeah, we already beat it with full epics, but that team wasn't as free to play friendly as the strategy that I'm going to show you right now, simply because this team with the pure epics relied heavily on certain units such as Oleg or a Vortex, right? But with this team, you don't need any of these. The only requirements that you have is basically the Volca A1, and then you need a Decimus that you have anyways, and then you need one tank who can withstand the Earth Shakes. So I have Baron with his unkillable. I even gave him uh, Soul Stones for his uh, A3 to get him a tank here. You can. There's multiple options for this slot though. You can exchange Baron for Regulus or a uh, Abomination or a Oleg in stage 19. And there's many options as for this right there. The main thing is only to have two units that can deal with the Earthshakes and the Volca. And that's it. That's all you need. Then, in terms of tanks, you don't need Oleg. You don't need Isolde, you don't need Vortex as your healer, everyone's favorite healer, Vortex, you don't need him. Because with this strategy we're gonna actually save our healer a bit. Because um, while it is for stage 19 still fine, the way most people uh, play it out, <coughs> for stage 20 and above, uh, your healer will struggle in the third wave, because four of these guys will throw rocks at your healer, and your healer will probably die because he can't keep up with the healing simply because he has to heal and defenders, he has to heal himself. It's too much. It's too much for him. And uh, with this strategy, your healer will survive. And the strategy only has one concept basically, and that is you have a single target DPS and a, a for wave one. You have an AOE DPS for wave two, and you use both of them for wave 3, this way your tanks will be able to retreat earlier. I will showcase you everything. and um, Which makes the run really easy, um, honestly. And as for the DPS, you have also multiple options. I take the two worst options here, basically, with two epics, but you can just take two legendaries and it's gonna be a lot easier already. Like, instead of Tariel, you can use a Nocturne, uh, Silas, or you could even use an Imami. Yes, you heard it right, guys. You can even use a Imani right here. She's actually perfect for this because her ultimate is basically up upon uh, deployment. So she's actually quite good for this as well as single target slot. And then for the AoE slot, I use Maul here just so I don't use Vierna because we all seen people beat it with Vierna, right? We've all seen it. Not everyone has her. But you can also use a Comet, you can use Vierna, you can use Razak. You have many options. And I'm here using them all. <coughs> and uh, this is why I use a Laurel as well, as you will see soon. So, how are we going to play it out? We'll just do this real quick. Alright, first things first is, like I said, you want to place your single target unit. And I need her ultimate, so I'm gonna get her her ultimate. There we go. But you can also do it without her ult and just put the buffer down. Uh, at stage 20, 20 and 21, you will need a buffer anyways uh, to uh, make this work. Reason why I use it, um, Tariel or Idril is her new name, I think. And Laurel now is uh, to save cost. It's crucial to save cost. You will see in the third wave. Because these guys only cost 11 and 13. So it's a lot cheaper than a mage and a, and a tank together, right? So we saved a lot of cost here already. Then continuation. We all know how it works, right? Yes, Valk, we know how it works. Don't worry, he's going to roar. And then he's going to make an earth shake and we're going to use Decimus just to block these guys. Place him right when he hits the ground with both of his hands. There we go. Put down our vortex. Take Decimus out. 
put burn down our AOE unit because our AOE unit has a high cost on his ultimate we use Laurel and then here uh, if you have a Vierna you won't be able to take out your tank already you will have to wait until the first two guys here the rock throwing guys um, hit your defenders twice and then you can use her ultimate simply because Vierna does not have as much range as Maul or Razak but Maul and Razak have one tile more so they don't need a defender for this round and then you just wait <coughs> wait sorry for that until everyone is in range which is about now then we can just ultimate and wipe them all out we can take our vortex take our Dolores and our mole and then he's gonna be mad again in wave 2 it doesn't matter when you place cause the earthshake and the boulders will come in at the same time so you can just place your unkillable units right now now as you can see my tanks are up by a long time ago Zack place our tank here place our vortex and now in this wave as you can will be seeing it is quite important that we actually save this cost because it comes down to the last bit of cost because Maul is so expensive so we were able to place our Tariel as soon as she's up because we will need her um, to make this work and you will see in a second why so we take Laurel out we use um, this ultimate real quick this ultimate and we wait we wait until these guys are in range we can't wait any longer because the rock throwing guys will kill kill us and we can take our defenders out there we go and now now vortex doesn't have to uh, heal any defenders anymore which will make him be able to only focus on himself at the last rock throw and make him be able to survive and you can take out your defenders out a quick bit earlier simply because you have a single target unit here to get rid of these guys in the end and this is especially uh, important for the wave later on if you're going for wave uh, uh, 20 and uh, 21 because then these healers have quite high requirements but this way you can use um, attack based healers as well can use attack based healers as well you just need to give them some HP and they be good to go so you don't really need vortex I tried it with Leia it worked I tried it with lightlock it worked and with Leia I even tried it in stage 20 I used her in stage 20 so I made a huge mistake here but it might just be fine it might just be fine but what you usually want to do guys is you want to place a decimus on the right side because he will spawn quicker and then on the right side you want to use baron it's just a small optimization then here you're going to put decimus because he's going to get angry at him for not dying hey yo why are you not dying mate okay no and now he's angry as you can see and he's calming down because he's like okay i got him and i'm like nah he didn't and then you can just uh, finish him off because he's not angry anymore with your carry and that's basically the run done so we, we can get our ults up and the tank doesn't really matter you can place any tank and that's gear rate 2 and simple as that so let's go over gear real quick So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. So have fun clearing stage 19. I'm Ronaldo and I'm out. Peace.